Hello, everybody. Let me introduce you a new tutorial, which I call Tattoo Leaves. And I will show you how to make these beautiful organic patterns with cool tattoo. What you will need in this tutorial is just basic equipment, except patina. Patina can be replaced by acrylic paint or by oil paint. This is patina effect. This is acrylic. And we can see that it's a little bit different. This is, I think, more organic. And for me, it is more interesting. But maybe you like more this one. So you can use acrylic or oil paint as well. You will need a scalpel, brush for patina. I like to use brush for liquid clay. And in this case, I use Kato liquid as a finishing coat. You will need some needle tool and some ball styluses. And there are baby wipes already dry. This kind of works very well. And of course, you will need some paper towel and leaf. You need to go out and bring some. And of course, you need some polymer clay. My favorite brand is Supremo but it works with Cernit and you will see both and what is the difference between these two clays. Because I already have a video how to make back side or brooch, I will show you just front side in this tutorial because you can do anything that you like and follow my previous three videos. So let's start. Let's talk about leaves you will need for this project. Not every leaf will work, which is probably something you know. Technically, you need to find the leaves. They have interesting veins, like this. It's a kind of rose. The botanical name of this rose is Rosa rugosa, which probably you can find easier. And it's quite common everywhere. Maybe not in Australia, but I don't know. But they have very nice veins, increasing enough. Not super deep, but not also shallow after imprinting. Also, what is very nice is a raspberry leaf. It's an ordinary raspberry, we eat it. And they have nice leaves. They are silver from the bottom. And as you can see, they are veins very nicely visible. This is a Hortensia or Hydrangea leaf, also very pretty. And Apisocarpus. This is a, again botanical name of the of the plant, but I'm pretty sure you will find enough interesting leaves in your country. But what will not definitely work are leaves, they are can see almost plain. There are some veins visible, but it's not enough to compare or maybe these two, you know, you can see the difference. And also this is an apricot tree leaf, almost plain, very without any texture. So you definitely search for texture because when you imprint a leaf like this, let me show you. Yeah. There is something, of course, but it's not interesting enough. If you imprint this kind of leaf, it will be better. And the magic happened, you will have nice texture. It also can be used as a texture, literally. 
just bake it and you will have nice texture for winter time or any time the leaves are not available fresh. I have prepared three colors which I like to try. They are autumnal, which is perfectly fitting with the leaf, but the leaves can be in any color and they will be beautiful. You can see this is not a very needed future blend. Just make a blend from something you have. No, I, I usually make a small one, as you can see. My blend is finished. For this project, I like the transition is really soft. So not lines, they are much visible because it's an organic project. And this is a medium setting, which is on my Atlas Pasta machine number three. I selected the rose leaf because it will fit. And I want to imprint it to my um, clay. It's good to use a piece of paper because sometimes it's, it's always better to have the leaf attached before you put it into the pasta machine because this is what we want to do. Now I will gently attach it my clay, just gently, because the paper will help you to lift the leaf or the clay from your workspace. And why we do it, this is because we don't want to have faults on leaf when we put it into the pasta machine. So if, if it is already attached, it helps. Not every time it's 100%, but it really helps to have nice, smooth imprint. So I will put it to my pasta machine. I didn't change anything. I, when, yeah, I just run it through the pasta machine. You can see it's on in it. I remove the leaf. And I have an imprint. I have more of them prepared already. Many colors to see what happened with them. Raspberry is really nice as well, right? And this is also raspberry leaf. And we can start with our project. Let's select the surface one. You can work on flat surface or on round surface. I like round surface. It can be anything, can be metal bowl. This is watch glass. It's a laboratory glass and it has nice curve and I really like to use it because it's really comfortable to work on it. So you need to place it on ice or surface. It doesn't matter what kind is it, but just take care about bubbles. Advantage of this that you can see some of this if they are any you can see. But of course don't push too much. We want to have only leaf imprints, not the fingerprints. So gently, gently. And you need to cut our leaf from our fly sheet. It's better to work slowly. And done. Beautiful itself. It can stay like this, but let's make it more interesting. 
you will need a needle tool or needle or I like a needle tool because it's comfortable to work with, but you can use also any needle you have home and make a tattoo. First of all, select the place of your future tattoo. And one more important thing is that you cannot hold the needle vertically and do this. So you need to hold it almost laying because it's, it's important when you do it vertically, you scratch and you will have ugly lines like this. You can compare no. the lines are nice and smooth when you do this stuff. So this is really important and you will see. The advantage or it has advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is that you have nice smooth lines. The disadvantage is that round shapes are really hard to draw. So for the beginning, I recommend you to play with triangles, rectangles, squares, or simple geometrical shapes. Or if you want to have the round shapes, imprint something like a cutter. You know, and make circles by cutter like this. Don't try to draw them by hand. It doesn't work very well, especially if you do it for the first time. So I will select some space for tattoo. So I will use the veins here. And this is my space for tattoo. I recommend you to smooth it a bit. My finger. Or by tool if you have very big fingers. I have small ones, so I can do it by hand. But maybe if you have a bigger fingers, okay, use any smoothing tool if you have. And for example, can be here also. Let's start with our tattoo. The easiest way is make some triangles. Lines, as you can see, it's not a big deal. You can play with shapes, of course. And make just simple lines or only dots. All of them will be beautiful. This is the basic. You can stop with this, but I think I would like to continue a bit to have more interesting look and um, yeah, more decorative design. I also like to use both styluses. They are amazing. This is smaller, this is bigger. You can buy them in any art store or also nail shops. Have very nice tools also. And I will do some dots, for example, here. Maybe here. And I think I will do something for this. Can be. So 
not a building, right? And again, I need to do something here. You can completely repeat your pattern or you can be more creative and do something different. I need to smooth it. Because I forgot. And I will do triangles again. But now they will be a little bit more different. For example, I don't know what now. Yes. Just same. Oops. This will be brand. I will repeat those. Tattoo is finished. It looks pretty, right? Maybe this shade is not very nice, actually. So even the leaf is in this shade, I will change it in my scalpel into something more pleasant. I shaped edges a bit. And because they are shaped and smooth a bit, so let's take here. I think it will be more interesting if I change the edge from smooth to something a little bit less smooth. Maybe needle will be better. Let's see. Just a little bit gently. Then let's start with a little bit different leaf just to see what happened. I will again make some space. It's going to be smoother. And this time I will probably use some tool to make it more smooth because this is a little bit older clay and it's not easy to smooth it like in previous time so it's smooth and i will do the same on this right. just to see what happens my needle is a little bit dirty but in this case, it doesn't matter. So, I smooth it here as well by accident. So, I need to make some tattoo also here, which I will do. You may notice that I use this part of these. No, these are not cutters, these are some electrician equipment, but we use them very often as a cutter. That's no, it's not. 
I need a smaller one. I will use the stylus again. Here it's finished. Now let's see the cutting of what happened. For the next step, you will need a patina, or it can be used also acrylic or oil painting. But I prefer this patina, it's a uh, pentart patina liquid. We usually use patina for baked pieces. This time we will use it for rough. In this step, you need to be really gentle and you need to use quite a lot of skill. I use these drop bottles and just take a couple of seconds and gently remove. Don't push, only move the surface a little bit, a little bit gently, slowly. And you will see this like a ceramic effect. Oops, it looks really good. Take a little time. You can see my real close how pretty it is. I really like it. Don't worry to use very strong or bright colors for your leaf because the patina will change it into something more natural anyway. I think it's better to use a little bit brighter colors. So continue until you are happy with what you see. Because I smooth surface a bit, I already I will open them again. 
just gently to have a space for vacuuming. I'm quite satisfied with the result and now it's time to bake it. You need to be really, really gentle. And I usually stop when I don't see any alcohol, which is, it means it's soaked into the tissue. I work with a Tremor coin now, so Tremor works this way. Maybe the different brand can behave a little bit different, can be more you know, softer or less soft, or you will see, but definitely it should work with all of them but the result can be different. So if you want to have the same results as I have, use them. Um, and this time I need to open my tattoo again because I smooth it a bit. I don't mind much actually. Repeat the step. Double check if you are happy with maybe this line is not deep enough. And let's bake it. I decided to try a ceramic also to see what happens. So, this is a ceramic metallics. I love their metallics, they are just amazing. And you can combine ceramic and tremor, but this time I decided just to use solid ceramic. It's a Champagne and goes through twice something. Both very pretty, so I don't have much cernit at my home, but I have some. My cernit is definitely softer than my Tremor. So when I smooth the edges, I completely smooth them. So I need to recover some texture here, not to have them unnaturally smooth. Maybe I will do it by the nails, which is, yes, this is the best way. So the best tool is your finger. It looks really pretty. Look at this almost like a leaf etch from the nature, but it's your finger or nail, what per se. I personally think that polymer clay is all about tools. So we have nice edge. Finished my tattoo and I will add patina. I gently removed patina from the surface and now I will try to use a spirit to see what happened on scent because I'm curious and I like this experiment. So I will see. It's a different brand 
and it can have different behaving. And it does. It's very similar, but it's a fair play, so you need to be even more gentle. I think where with Femo was a little bit easier for me. It's functional on starting it. But a little bit different and it's easier to work with Femo for me. But it can be also because I didn't use very fresh Femo could be the brand with you. Mm. Alcohol make the cernit softer and softer, so I will stop for sure. Not to remove veins completely. In case of Serenit, I've got some spots, but actually it's not bad. I like it too. It's a little bit different, but very pretty too. So you can use whatever you have at home, or you can mix these clays. But definitely because the alcohol made it a little bit softer, you need to fix the tattoo more than in previous case. My tattoo is fixed. Actually, I like it already. And we could stop in this stage. But I will go a little bit further with deck filling, which will we do in the next step. So this piece is needs to be baked. I bake 30 minutes according to manufacturer instruction or a little bit more than manufacturer instruction. Um, in case of Premo, I bake on 135, sometimes almost 140. Um, it makes the clay more flexible and durable. So this is the reason. It's very pretty, isn't it, right? This is the piece I made, already baked. You can see the big difference in color. I used very bright green and turquoise, and now it's very pretty, naturally looking leaf. In this step, I will show you back filling. I will use a white clay, and this is, I recommend you a Premo white because it's really white and it's soft. And you will need to find a tool which will work for you because you need to have a control on it. I like to use this old manicure tool I inherited after my grandmother. And just clay as it is. It's a soft clay. And it has a butter, you can see. It's not very soft, actually, it could be even softer. I don't mix it with any liquid or any softener or anything. Because Actually, it's easier to work with just plain white. And this step is quite easy. Just like a butter, put it in holes you have. And because the rest of leaf is almost smooth, it will stay in our gaps. Made.
And if not, we have a needle tool and simply remove what you don't want. It is very easy as well. Press and scratch. I will remove all these little white in lines. And you will need a baby wipe. So this type, like a, I don't know, it's not a fabric, but this fiber type is the best. And mine is almost dry, which is best. If they are fresh, sometimes they are too oily or too wet, too moisture. I, I have plenty of very, they dry quickly actually. So you, if you have a fresh one, just open it and keep it open and smooth and clean it. You can see there is a milky way, which we don't want. And there is the way how we remove it. Really dry and it's comfortable. Now, tattoo is finished. And it is time to make also a backside. And because I already made the video how to make backside of brooch or pendant. Just follow this instruction and I hope you enjoy this because I'm not sure how Patina reacts with perfumes or with other things. I decided to cover it by a little thin coat of liquid clay. Uh, my clay, uh, my liquid is a scalpy, which is uh, translucent or transparent, but I think the Kato clay and heat gun will make it even more interesting. There is a coat of liquid on it. It's, it's not visible. It's a satin finish. And it's quite pretty, right? The advantage of using liquids is that they can be polished on buffing wheel. And if you don't have a Kato, it's an option how to get a more glossy shine, which is stable. Um, the lacquering is not, uh, is, the lacquering is usually not very good looking on polymer clay. Um, and because it is enhancing any imperfection you have. So it's twice more visible. But the liquid makes it smoother than it was. So this is why I prefer the liquids. And I don't use lacquering if I don't have to. So I will bake it for a little while and I will make a big side after that. To finish the surface, I decided to use uh, liquid clay, which I really like the Kato for a surface treatment because it provides very nice smooth surface, which can be also very shiny if you use a heat gun. Um, so I put one piece into the oven and I will use a heat gun for another to see the difference. It looks a bit milky now, but after baking it will be transparent, so don't worry. We will work with heat gun.
we have finished broad, which is very cool, I think. And you can see the leaves covered by Kato liquid because at the end, I like this most. So I covered them by Kato. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you also for subscribing and sharing and all your support. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time.